This is a discussion for answer part B question 1 from common test May 2018. Let's look at the requirement A. You need to prepare Zita Berhad's statement of financial position as at 31st December 2017, equity and liability section only. So this is the, uh, the extract of SOFP for 31st December 2017. So we start with owner equity followed by non-current liability and current liability and end with total equity and liabilities amounted to 1,805,000 ringgit. The first uh, items on the equity consists of ordinary shares 750,000, preference shares 200,000, share premium 175,000 and retain earning 426,000. So the total equity is equal to 1,551,000. One Non-current liability is is uh, from a long-term loan at 135,000 and for current liability consists of current portion of long-term loan 15,000, account payable 68,000, accrued interest or interest payable amounted to 12,000 and tax payable 24,000 and total current liability is 199. 119,000. Next, let's look at the working for ordinary share capital. Existing ordinary share capital is at 500 unit time 1 ringgit each. So, this is the par value for the ordinary share. Therefore, equal to 500,000. You need to add with the new issue of ordinary share. Please refer to note 2. In the note, it is stated that on 30th October 2017, Zita Berhad issued 250,000 of ordinary share at 1 ringgit 10 cent each for cash. The par value of uh, the ordinary share is at 1 ringgit. Therefore, another 10 cent is equivalent to the premium. Okay, so 250,000 is the new issue of ordinary share you need to time the par value which is one ringgit each times 250 unit the total ordinary share is 750000 number 2 working to preference shares is at one ringgit each time 200 unit equivalent to 200000 for share premium the balance brought down provided in the table equal to 150,000 and you need to uh, add with the share premium for new issue of ordinary share which is 10 cent time with 250,000 unit equivalent to 225,000 ringgit so 150,000 plus 25,000 equal to 175,000 for uh, working for retained earning, the balance brought down given in the table is 350,000 and you need to add with the profit for the year as per note 1. Okay. In note 1, it is stated that profit for the year ended 31st December 2017 was 76,000. So you add together 350,000 with 76,000 equal to 426,000. Working file is for long term loan. So the balance brought down as at 1st January 2017 was 150,000. But you need to less or minus the current portion of the long term loan that matures in 2017, which is from 1st January to 31st December 2017, equal to 12 months or one year. Therefore, the calculation is as follow: the total loan, total amount of long term loan, 150,000, divided with the term of loan, 10 years, time with the month. Okay, 12 month divided with 12 month equal to 1 year. Therefore, the current portion is 15,000 ringgit. 150,000 
minus 15,000 equal to 135,000. For working stick account payable, the balance brought down equal to 80,000 ringgit. And then, you need to refer to note 4. It is given that Zeta Berhad of additional 45,000 ringgit. Therefore, you need to add the credit purchase with the balance brought down. Okay, 80,000 ringgit plus 45,000 ringgit equal to 125,000. And then, continue with note 4. At year end, 50,000 of the account payable balance has been paid. Therefore, you need to minus with the amount paid to uh, by Zeta mounted to 57,000. The, the balance for account payable is 68,000. Working 7 accrued interest equal to 12,000 ringgit whereby you have to multiple the interest rate per annum which is 8% with the total amount of long term loan. So this is the accrued interest for one year from since January 2017 to 31st December 2017. And you can refer this information in note 3. It is stated that the annual payment of principal must be made every 1st January beginning 2018 instead of 2017 together with an 8% per annum interest on the outstanding balance of the loan. Next, proceed with working aid for tax payable. The information is given in note 5. The profit before tax for Zeta Berhad for 2070 was 100,000 ringgit. The company have to pay tax at the rate of 24% and the tax will be remitted to Inland Revenue Board by 28 February 2018. Okay, so the payment will be only made on 2018 instead of 2017. Therefore, we need to Include that amount as tax payable or accrued tax expenses mounted to 24,000 ringgit, 100,000 times 24%. And for question B, you need to identify two differences between ordinary shares and preference shares. First, ordinary share or com uh, common shares, common stock. Ordinary share or common stock. Eh? Common stockholder are usually given voting right. Common stockholder are receiving variable or adjustable dividend payment dep depending on how profitable the company is. And for the preference shares, also known as preference stock, okay, they normally do not have voting right. And the share shareholder of the preference share receive fixed regular dividend payment for a specified period of time and for the last question the difference between operating liability and financing liabilities operating liability are obligations arise in the normal course of operation to produce goods and services for the customer for example comp payable stack payable and earned revenues accrual on Operating expenses and for financing liability is referred to the obligation arises from non-operating activities like private and public debt financing. An example are leases and bonds. So that's all for the answer May 2018 section B question 1.